In this session, we are going to study a new modulation scheme, which is a quadrature amplitude modulation or QAM. So this is one of the uh, most important and useful modulation schemes that's used in many applications. And we are going to see uh, how we can make the system, how we can do uh, QAM modulation. So let's start this modulation. So uh, we say the quadrature amplitude modulation QAM is a signal in which two carriers shifted in phase by 90 degrees. So up to now, there's nothing new because uh, we can understand this. This is a quadrature modulation. As we talked before, in quadrature modulation, we have a cosine and sine, and these two signals uh, have 90 degree phase shift. So uh, now the second part is important. We say the output consists of both amplitude and phase variations. So that's the difference because previously, if you remember in a uh, uh, QPSK or 8PSK or these modulations, we were only changing the phase, but the amplitude was constant. So the new thing with this modulation is the amplitude. So this time we are going to change amplitude and phase, both, both of them together. So now we say it may also be considered, the QAM modulation may be considered as a mixture of amplitude and phase modulation. It means that this time we are not only changing the phase, but we are also changing the amplitude. So in order to understand the QAM, uh, we are going to have an easy comparison. So we are comparing QPSK and QAM this time. So this is an um, easy level of QAM. It's not the only level. We are going to have 8 QAM, 16 QAM like other ones, but this is the basic levels. So let's see what is happening. For QPSK, we said that the output is A cosine omega CT minus A2 sine omega CT. So uh, let's review this. For QPSK, we said that the A1 and A2 we have, or A, B, and there are different definitions, it doesn't matter, I'm going to show with A, A1 and A2, or you can also call it I and Q. So A1 uh, was plus and minus 1, and A2 was plus minus 1, so the absolute value for A1 was equal to A2, and that's why we said the amplitude is not changing in QPSK, so we are only changing the phase. But the new thing in QAM is this time we are also changing the amplitude. As you see in the new system in QAM or QAM, the A1 is going to have two values, plus and minus one and plus and minus two, and for A2 as well. So we are going to have this kind of things at the output. So if you remember, so if you remember, this was our I part and this was our Q part, and um, they're the same for other uh, pictures too here. So here, uh, let's say we have one, one, cosine, sine, cosine, minus, sine. So up to here, the, the top one here is uh, actually QPSK, yeah? Because we have the same amplitude level. But these, in the bottom, they're showing the uh, new waves for QAM. And this time we are going to have 2, 1, 2, 2, minus 1, 2. And there are more even, because uh, we can have different things. I'm not going to show all of them, but it's just an example to show what is going on here? So for example, we can have two. So here A1 is equal to two and the A2 is equal to one. Yep. And here two, two, minus one and two. And if you, so for example, what we have here at the output is going to be minus cosine omega CT plus two sine omega CT. And if you want to uh, convert it to the cosine, uh, format. If you remember, we said we uh, we always com uh, convert it to a format like this: a, a t the amplitude. Let's say cosine omega c t plus phi t. So this is the actually the general form of the modulation. If you remember, so if you compare it, uh, if you convert it to this format, now you will see that this time a t is also changing. But in Q in Q P S K in P S K modulation, a t was always constant. So phi was changing, but this time in QAM, AT is also going to change as well. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.